students come to the Computer Animation Lab to learn about all different aspects of 3D animation. That includes 2D cartooning, 3D modeling, 3D animation for video games, uh, everything from doing 3D short films uh, to level design for video games. Uh, aside from that, we're also doing some graphic design with Photoshop and traditional animation. Uh, where we actually do little flippets, flipbooks, uh, drawing, pencil, paper, uh, the kind of traditional 2D art that you normally think of uh, from a studio art perspective. A blade that only the pure of heart can handle. Computer animation, I feel, is a great course for anyone who's interested in art. It prepares us for the workplace because we use industry standard programs like Autodesk and Maya. Maya is a 3D modeling and animation program that is used by most game designers companies and animation companies like Pixar. This animation course shows us the first steps in the animation industry and prepares us for college. Students who come to this program are here for a little over two hours a day, every day for two hours. That's a lot of dedicated time and energy that go into designing and creating their 2D and 3D animated projects. We actually use a variety of software in this class depending on what project we're working on. For drawing projects, we use Photoshop or Digicel Flipbook. For modeling projects, we use Autodesk Maya. Working in Maya is probably my, own, my favorite program to work on. Even if I'm done with some other project, I'll always be trying to do something different in Maya. The best way to learn something new is to keep practicing at it, and that's pretty much what I do every day. Music, disco record. We actually work on a variety of really cool and interesting projects. They range from traditional drawing to complex computer modeling. One computer model I'm currently working on is a 3D lightsaber. It may look pretty hard and confusing to any amateur, but after learning all the techniques of the program, it's pretty easy to come up with new ideas for someone with artistic abilities. Well, I chose computer animation because I would like to know the basics for the job field in my future. I would like to become a game designer, and one of the first steps is to take this class. Our vocational school offers skill enhancement classes that our home school does not. Students from many other districts come to the school to take these classes, including computer animation. This allows you to meet new and exciting people with the same interests as you. This program that I have open right now is known as Digicel Flipbook. It's a 2D animation program. The project I have up right now is known as a write-on, and basically what that is, is you take a picture that either you draw or off the internet, and you put it in here and you work backwards by slowly erasing little by little of each frame, and it actually gets the effect as though it's being written on, as you see here. And right now, I'm in the midst of working on it, so it's not done, I still need to finish this area and then need to color it in. So when it's done, it'll all be drawn in and colored and everything. Currently, Amaya, I'm working on a 3D version of a DJ studio. What my DJ studio consists of is two monitors, two speakers, and a desk, and two DJ systems. DJ systems were the first thing that I worked on, but the speakers were mainly one of the most important parts because of the fact that it took the longest amount of time. Um, the, the speakers were mainly made out of smooth command and boolean command. Um, they were fairly easy to make. All I had to do was select some of the faces on the corners and I used a smooth command and what it did was it made it so that it was all nice and smooth and round 
and what it does is it makes a nice professional look also the desk has a nice reflection on it so that when rendered it actually will look more professional um, the time put into this project probably was about a week worth of time 